Okay, hey there. So I just want to make a quick video showing you an easy way to make uh, cuts on plastic light covers that you find for uh, fluorescent lighting in office buildings. Okay, so the reason I'm uh, doing this is because I originally tried using a table saw. Uh, table saw really, it didn't work well, uh, especially for what I'm trying to do. I think I'm assuming I'm not going to be the only person running into this problem. Um, what happened was we bought brand new uh, light covers and they are, uh, what is it, half an inch too long and a quarter of an inch too wide. Okay, so uh, they're, they're just, you need to take a quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch off. This proved to be very hard to do properly on a table saw. Uh, because it's, it gets very flimsy, you know, when you have to make such a tiny cut like that, it, uh, it ships it, it's hard to get an accurate cut. I looked online for other tips for how to do this. I didn't, I didn't really find anything else that, uh, that worked as a good suggestion. Uh, so what I found is that you can use, instead of a large blade on a table saw, you can use a multi-tool a Dremel multi-tool like this, okay? With small teeth, it just vibrates. Okay, uh, before that I was using a grinder with just a, a regular uh, all-purpose steel grinding wheel and that worked as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, hope this helps guys. I'm gonna just kind of show you what I do and, uh, and go from there. So before you get started, just really quick, obviously you have to take the measurement of the width and the length from the inside uh, of the ballast. You're going to need a T-square. Uh, what I've been doing is I've just been using a carpenter's pencil and I've been um, taking the measurements, putting the T-square on the back of the plastic where it's not rigid and I've been able to leave enough of the uh, carbon from the pencil so that I can, I can see my lines and I've been cutting on top of an old piece of plywood, or sorry, drywall, uh, so I don't dull my blade too badly. Uh, so I tried, <laughs> I tried using an X-Acto blade. That did not work. Maybe it'll work for somebody else who has the time to score it about 40 times, but uh, for me, it just wasn't practical. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> 